International Prayer Breakfast at Safari Park Hotel in Nairobi. Leaders present have, of course, underscored the need for a peaceful transition of power as the nation gears up to the general elections come August 9th. The annual breakfast is organized by speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate. And of course, yesterday, which is uh, Thursday, May 26th, marked the last session under the Jubilee administration. Let's take a look at how it actually turned out. Early Thursday morning, President Uhuru Kenyatta led leaders and diplomats in what is now the last breakfast prayer under his administration. The head of state noting the importance of the prayer in fostering national cohesion. And I say this, well aware that the tempo of our politics is beating at an increasing rate day by day. But I just wish to emphasize that even as we engage in the upcoming contest this year or later this year, we know that the task of building a nation is a task that is passed from a generation to a generation. Generation and generations of leaders are therefore called upon to pass that button unbroken, and I intend to do just that. Uncertainty over the future of the nation in the run-up and the aftermath of the general elections dominated the theme of today's prayer session. Speaker after speaker calling for a peaceful electoral process to ensure the country does not travel another journey of post-election skirmishes. He to remain true to his word, and that has just been ably demonstrated to us by our religious leaders from 